Okay, you guys, on today's Taster's Table, we have Mrs. Esplin with us. Yay! And she is going to read us the book, Stick and Stone. And here she is. Boys and girls, I am so excited to be here today and be able to read you a book. I'm not in classes as much as I used to be as a teacher, and so I don't get to read to you as often. So I am very, very excited today to be able to read this. Today we're going to read a story called Stick and Stone, and it's a wonderful story about being friends with people. So I'm very excited to read this to you. Stick. And if you can see closely on their faces, neither one of them look very happy. We're going to find out why they're not happy. Lonely, alone. How many of you have felt lonely before? I have. How many of you have felt all alone before? I have too. A zero. A one. Notice how his shape is like a zero, but he feels like a zero, which means not much. And a one. He's shaped like a one, but he doesn't feel like he feels very good about himself. So let's see what happens. Alone is no fun. Look, if you're on a seesaw all by yourself, it's not very fun because all he can do is sit there because he can't even reach. Stick, stone, along comes pine cone. Oh no, look what happens here. Makes fun of stone. So the pine cone made fun of him and he got so upset he fell right out of a swing. And then look, pine cone's laughing at him. Sad news. Pine cone won't leave him alone, so he just keeps making fun of him. If you know somebody that keeps making fun of other kids, would you put your thumb up? I know people like that too. Vanish, says Stick. Tell him to get out of here. His word does the trick. So look, he's marching off. He's mad that he got sent away. And look, Stone is smiling at Stick. Ooh, if I was to predict what happens, what do you think would probably happen? Hmm. I'm thinking that probably Stone and Stick become friends now. Let's see if that's true. Stone whispers, gee, you stuck up for me? That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Stick, Stone, no longer alone. I love this picture. Look, Stone is holding Stick on his head so Stick can play with the bars. Isn't that fun? Stick, Stone, a friendship has grown. They're blowing bubbles and playing together and having lots of fun. They wander, explore. I love this because I don't know if you can see it in the book. But Stone, he's going right through the grass and smashing it down so Stick can come along. And they're exploring what's in a cave. They laze by the shore, enjoying the beach. Uh-oh. Then thunder and rain. Boom! A loud hurricane. Uh-oh, I don't know if you can see it well, but here is Stone and Stick getting blown away. Oh no, this makes me really, really sad. Stick is wind blown. Uh oh, look, he's being blown and his little leaf is falling off. There goes Pinecone. Pinecone's being blown away. Hold on! Shouts out Stone. Sad news. Again, he is alone. And all he has is a little leaf left. Stick isn't there anymore. What do you think he's going to do? If I had a friend and I, they got blown away in a storm, I would go look for them. Let's see if that's what he does. Search by day. Stick, 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 he calls. 
and search by night, no stick in sight. What's this? A huge puddle? Stick is stuck in the muddle. Look, he's upside down. He's stuck in the middle of the water. Oh, let's see what happens. So, Stone, he starts rolling down his heel really, really fast. He hits a log, he pops up, and then he hollers, Cowabunga! Boom! He lands right in the middle of the water, and curse splash! All of the water comes out, and can you see Stick? He's right here. When he, the force of him hitting the water, pops Stick up and out. Stick stone. A perfect 10. Look how he got 10. Stick and stone, the shapes of them make a 10. A perfect 10. To the end. And then look, pine cones shown up too, and pine cones hollers in just a little tiny pine cone voice. He says, Sorry, I needled you so much. So I am guessing that Pinecone wants to be their friend now, and I bet they will be kind to him. Boys and girls, I have had the best time ever being able to read to all of you today. I hope you're all safe. I all ho hope you're having a good time, and I hope to see you back here at school, school in the next couple of weeks. See you later. Bye.